Thank you very much, friends. And I know that I am among friends. Uh, we have a fairly large uh, community in Canada of, uh, of Iranians, and of course the contribution of Canadians has been considerable down through the years, right from the beginning. And uh, I was believe the first Canadian parliamentarian to uh, understand what was going on and, and came to be in support. And of course, uh, you know, I was very proud to have my former Prime Minister, uh, Stephen Harper, speak to you, our former uh, Foreign Affairs Minister, and, and so on. So in solidarity, we are there, and we'll continue to be so. But I just wanted to thank you. <laughs> but my background, um, experience before I got into politics, I was part of the criminal justice system, an officer of the courts. And, dealing with young offenders who got in trouble with the law and uh, dealing with husbands and wives who were fighting in the divorce court. And uh, I was a social worker and a legal expert uh, uh, in the court system, dealing with people in their time of life crisis. And then I was able to take that experience to Parliament and I was representing my constituents. Because as a parliamentarian, it's not only foreign affairs and other things, but you know, there's people that elected you and you're there to serve them and their difficulties. When they run into problems with the government agency, you become their ombudsman, you become their voice, you become their advocate. And so I want to just maybe change gears a little bit and uh, let's uh, reflect a little bit. Let's just reflect for a moment about the quality of life. Because all of what we're doing, really, it's about the future, not about the past. Because politics is for a purpose, a purpose of living life and providing for us, but for the next generation. In a way, it's all about the children, what we do and what we do for them. It's about hope for tomorrow and to thrive and to replenish. We know that after the night comes the morning. We endure and we carry on, and you've been doing that. So we reflect on life, and we ask the question, how shall we live? We've come this far by faith, but how shall we truly live? Evil may have tried to kill us. We survived. So now it's up to us to really live. My body healed, and may my mind and soul also heal. So how shall I live? Now, Martin Luther King had a bit of experience in dealing with oppression and advocacy. He said, I'm reminded that darkness cannot drive out darkness, and only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Gandhi had a little bit of experience in moving a whole nation. And what did he say? He says, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. So I say, when you forgive, you in no way change the past or deny the past. But you sure can change the future. So we refuse to live, when I answer that question, how shall we live? We refuse to live with resentment in our hearts. For if you do fall into that way, you surely will become its prisoner again. Now, most of us need time to work through the pain and loss, and we can find all manner of reasons for postponing forgiveness. And one of the reasons is, waiting for the wrongdoer to repent or to come to some kind of understanding. Oh, they never will. Yet such a delay causes us to forfeit the peace and happiness that we could have right now. So forgiveness isn't a blessing that you deliver to somebody else. It's a gift that you give to yourself. Forgiveness is about empowering yourself rather than empowering your past. When a deep injury is done, we never recover until we forgive. To forgive is to set a prisoner free, 
and to discover that that prisoner was you. When you choose to forgive those that have hurt you, you take away their power. And when you forgive, you heal. And when you let go, you grow. So then we ask, well, then how shall we live? We shall live as overcomers. Ashaf 3, the overcomers. That's who we are. Together we are alive. We shall live fully through forgiveness. Each day we take a step into tomorrow rather than into the past. The future is as much brighter than the past. And remember, for the sake of the children, Ashaf 3 shall live as overcomers. Thank you.